to web development class on whatsapp today i'm going to show you how you can create a calculator using html css and javascript all right so don't be scared when i say javascript is not going to be much of javascript it's going to be maybe three to four words of javascript okay so we are going to move here i already typed the codes you are going to use i read my notepad so but i'm going to explain how this code works and how i used it okay so this is what i'm just going to do just come here copy the codes let me copy the codes and just right here i just paste it i just brought an environment where we can start coding we give it the title name html calculator all right so now this thing this calculator here is going to use the aid of a form format we are going to use a form format to create our calculator all right so we are going to give it form form give it form name name it's just this name is just the same thing for me to say class uh, so i just give it here calculator and then i close it okay I close it outside not inside yeah close it outside all right so now i'm done with that i move to the next step where i'm going to start imputing my values that is where I'm going to start bringing my one a calculator. You will see one, you see two, you see three, you see different letters and see different symbols. All right, I'm going to paste this one here. Input type button. The type, the button, the uh, input type you're using is a button. It was a text. I'm going to just put text, but here's a button. Value is one. The value you want it to be shown is one. On click, is like a Java, is a JavaScript word that's used to make something responsive when you click on it it's going to respond it's going to give automatic answer or it's going to it's going to respond to something yeah it's going to respond to any information they are giving to it so on click is equals to the document everything here is a document dot calculator that is the name we gave to his calculator dot answer that is when we finish everything it should give us an answer dot value that is we when i say value means plus it sums everything together and report it downward that is today equals to to give us an answer all right it's nothing hard so you can always ask questions to any place you don't understand programming is one of the best things you can do it's one of the skills you can learn so you can also create things using your web development skills because you also know other you know programming languages other programming languages yes you know programming languages you can use it to always create things not only creating websites yes you can also use it to do so many other things all right so just come here and paste it so we just have input type button the same thing value is divided divide symbol on click document or calculator the answer so all of them is the same thing so now we are going to move to the next part where we are going to create a delete or let me say a reset button a delete button or a reset button that when maybe you made a mistake when we are typing something and you want to delete it so you can easily use the delete button to delete whatever thing you typed and you want to do it to delete all right so you come here let's wait let us see what we have done so far let's see what you have done so far you click on a spanner and go and see it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minus plus times division. All right. So 
in here. Just bring out a reset button. Input type reset. The value is reset. So the type you are using is reset. The value also is reset. It is nothing like document dot calculator because it functions for everything. It's just a reset button. So it will automatically reset. All right. So we move to the next step. We are going to create a place for our answer. How do we want the answer to be shown? What kind of code should what will be that thing that will trigger the answer to be shown? Yes, so we just come here, okay, and just click here. Face input type button, the value is equals to on click document dot calculator dot answer dot value is equal to eval evaluate why when i said evaluate equal to this is the sum equals to means adding a, a, the answer equals to this or when you finish type it all that you want to click on the equals to sign automatically to give us an answer so how do we do that when we say document everything is a document dot calculator that is the form everything in the form dot answer which is the next thing we are going to type dot value the value is equals to evaluate the value is equals to that these are equal to sign evaluate when we say evaluate repeating what we already wrote that document or calculator the answer so anything that we type we are repeating it again to give us an answer so it's going to sum everything together and give us an answer all right let us save it and let us just see the output now we can see we have a three one two three four five six seven you have a search button you have an equal button but we don't have a place where we can know if this our calculator is working we need to have a place where we can show our output okay that is when we move to the next step As we move to the next step for it, okay. As we move to the next step, okay. And we paste it. We have solution is input type is a text view, something like maybe I can say text error. We also want a text view where we can write something and the name. Now you can see where this we get this a name from answer. Is from this down part dot answer this way other one gets so this is a place it got and it got it so answer is equal to the value is equals to something we don't write anything here is this place is just empty because we don't know whatever answer the person who want to give it to so let us see if our calculator is working so now we have a text error now a text field now so let us see if this calculator is working one fourteen plus I don't know what the one was one twelve plus eight equals to twenty if it's four minus five equals to minus one so it's a nine divided by three zero to three all right so this place we have value here that's nothing that is inside there we can type something it means that four four save it when we go to this text here you will see four four you see four four so it's automatically the when you click on the reset button it will still come back again so that's why we did not put anything yes sorry to not sum the thing for us all right thank you for sticking to the class on our next tutorials i'm going to show you how you can style this beautiful calculator